Hey guys, it's Rocket Blade here, once again with my friend Koopa. Say what's up. Help me! <laughs> Yum it day! <laughs> Save me, this, this game is controlling my life. <laughs> I can't get off of it, it's like SIGS. <laughs> Unless you stop, you can't start, I mean stop, I mean, fuck. <laughs> That's how fucked up you are. I had it so bad, you, you're, you're slurring words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, if you're wondering what we're talking about today, we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, I know what you're thinking, but don't mobile games suck? Well, okay, I look, let me say something real quick. I know the mobile game market's kind of like the Steam library, or where, 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 where it's like there's, there's a lot of crappy games out there to make a quick buck, and there are. There are. I mean, It's like a band of Wii U games. There's a bunch of shovelware, but if you did, Deep enough, you might find something halfway decent. <laughs> yeah, and this, but in this case, it's something that that's only really, not, uh, not, uh, no, no, it's something that not only that's really good, but it's actually pretty great. Uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Light. Best describe it, you know, is the best way to describe it because instead of having the traditional forty cards of you know forty cards, it's cut down to twenty. Same thing with light points. You usually start with eight thousand, but it's more like the shows four thousand. And uh, instead of putting you know the traditional five monsters and five spells, it's three monsters, three spells on your field. Yeah. So it's like like fast paced like Yu Gi Oh, card playing action. It's one of those people like that's on their break at work has like fifteen minutes and have like a want to have a quick duel. That's what it's more for. Even though they might lose track of time and it's like it's an hour. Fuck. Oh, I shit. was supposed to be on shift 45 minutes ago! <laughs> oh! <laughs> God forbid, but yeah, it, <laughs> it can happen though because you get so just lost into it because, like, there's like, and of course, and what guess what helps it more is that it's based on using your original season, you know, first season Yu Gi Oh! characters, you know, Yugi, Kaiba, Joey, Mei, uh, Bandit Keith, Pegasus, uh, Who's an event right now? Yeah, which <laughs> you should go do right now before it ends. When it ends? Eighth. The eighth is when they cut it off, and the time of recording this is the fifth, but it's probably going to go up on the sixth. So, uh, so yeah, like two between, days from now, <laughs> two to three days. Yeah, so I got it within the same day I, when I, I when I downloaded it. So it's it's possible, but you got to do it ASAP. Um, you have the time. Try to make time for it, and after that, because that's how he goes away for a while. And actually, fun, crazy thing about um this game. It crashed a lot when I started, first started playing because, you know... Yeah, like, I know we hinted on it a little bit during the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. We talked a base about it just a, yeah. a tad bit. But, yeah, the... Um, shows how much people are playing this game because the uh, server logons on certain days, they are pretty. I mean, especially when I was, like, wrapping things up earlier today, I was getting that server ear stuff, too, um, when I was about ready to uh, head off on this. But, yeah, it just goes to show how many people have downloaded this thing. Like, over 2 million. I, I know there was some, like, little um, gift of gems celebrating that. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 2 million downloads. It's it's so crazy, man. It's, like, it's so fast and fluid. You know, has the, you know, people, you know, the original voice actors, like Dan Green, you know, reprising his roles, Yuki, or Slash the Pharaoh. You know, also, when you, if you get, like, special cards, like, you know, Dark Magician Girl... Of course, Dark Magician himself. They get like special, like little cut scene, and you see them, like you know the display, you know, showing off their their look and stuff. And but it's, it's depending cool. on who you use, though. So, say for example, um, you have Taya summon Dark Magician. She won't get the cut scene for him. But if you have Yugi summon Dark Magician, that's how you you get the cut scene animation. It's kind of their main monster kind of thing. Like also some other examples. Um, Weevil summons Insect Queen. That gets an animation. If uh, Odeon gets off his trap and body him another focus, which is really easy to do because it's only like a four-star monster trap thing, you see a little animation for that. Of course, um, blue eyes white track him. If you summon it for Seto Kaiba, red eyes for Joey, and I'm not sure. Maybe Rex also has red eyes because you get it from Rex too. I'm not 100, percent but um, yeah, there's some unique little special animations and depending on what character you pick. Yeah, so it's really cool to see. Um, it's just an incredible game how, you know, it's just so addicting and... Not uh, to mention, you, um, as you progress different characters, there's actually, like, a little level up mechanics where you can get more gems to buy more card packs and then get even more hoax to get, like, more gems from missions. And then there's all... I 
I kind of recommend you guys just level up pretty much everybody you can because that way you can just get the most gems out of it. That way you don't have to spend a dime. And that's the thing about this game. There's no coherent paywall that normal mobile games suffer from. Like, for example, uh, Rich, Rich from Review Tech USA, which is a good challenge to check out, uh, he mentioned his game, app, uh, mobile game, which is good, called uh, Dead Trigger 2. It's like a first person like zombie game. That's so all you got on the mobile and on Android and Apple. Problem is, at a certain point, like I mentioned before, you get to a paywall where, oh, we're making this cool, like, super cool, like, revolver gun for you, but you can either A, pay five real in, five real, real world dollars, or you, uh, um, or you have to wait a day or two for it to make it. Oh, same thing. If you want to progress to the next level, you can, like, you can either wait a day or pay us five dollars right now to play right now. So I guess it got to that Which point that's where that's kind of weird because at the most with Yu-Gi-Oh's like weights when you like um, get rid of all of your options available, the most you have to wait for everybody to refresh is about like four hours worth, and even then, to kill time if you still want to, there's the legendary duelist from the gate. If you have enough keys, you can still do them. You can hop on the PvP and do some player versus player matches to kill time until then. So there's ways that you can still play even though. You might max out all of your uh, yeah. So then I oh well, I maxed out all the gate battles and the regular battles out in the street. Uh, it's it's uh well I got nothing to do. Good, it's, there is player versus player. So uh, and then there's also these little orb things that um, Konami gives out on occasions. I know for the Pegasus event before uh, that happened, as apology along with them, they gave these little <clears> things, and when you use about ten of them, ten of them, it refreshes all of the uh, duelists on the playing field and then also pro tip when you are uh, playing this game and leveling up characters if you have that stage mission complete like say you've done everything and there's the reward for beating stage like say 17 don't accept it quite yet duel everyone that you possibly can and then accept it because every time you go up a stage it just refreshes everybody automatically so a little pro tip for those who are getting into the game so we can get more keys it. to fight people at the gate, it slash slash more stars mm -hmm. so you can fight Pegasus or the next person that comes to the big event. Which I heard rumors it might be... Uh, uh, it's either Merrick or Bacor. It's, it's one Merrick of the two. Or, yeah. It's one of the two because they've, they've been leaked out um, like their player profile character and whatever. So they're like in the game. It's just it's it's going to be either one of them. I don't know. Eventually, I would, I would imagine Merrick because he was the he was the next big villain after Pegasus. So. Yeah. And, then, and after uh, that, I'm pretty sure they might eventually put the movie villain. From, uh, yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure they would do that. Yeah, Agami. As well, Agami. Yeah. They might put him as well, and with it, and hopefully with his card set, because I just, I just, I didn't use his cards because his cards could be kind of brutal if you know how oh, to use them right. Man, they, they might have to. I don't know how they are in the actual game. I haven't looked up their effects, but um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'd be afraid of one hit turn kills with how they worked in the movie. I know, seriously. <laughs> well, then again, he had a special like special realm. Dueling kind Stuff of thing. as well, yeah. So I think if it's regular Dimension dueling, it'll something. be okay. Yeah. Because Seto Kaiba was fighting him in his, in his special, like, dimension, dimension duel well, crap. Where stars didn't matter, they just used their Super Saiyan spirit energy to summon the creatures. <laughs> yeah. And give them their max attack or whatever, or however that worked. Um, to backtrack again, and I, I meant to mention this as I was going on, but um, another thing that kind of spices up the little uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Light duels is that each um, character, as you level up, they actually get special abilities uh, correlating to them that kind of helps you at the beginning of a duel. Like, for example... Uh, base Yugi and Kaiba, because that's who you start with. Uh, Yugi can get the Yami Field spell, which will increase his Magician and Field, and a Fiends, why did I say Field? Fiends. And then um, Kaiba will get Mountains, which increases, like, Winged Beast and Dragons and things like that. And then you can get some other, like, completely different um, special abilities with other duelists. Like, I know Mai can use the Roma strategy, which allows you to see what card you're going to draw next. That way you can kind of plan out like how you're going to do since you can see that card. But even more ridiculous is Pegasus has the ability to see, as long as he has over three life points, he can see everything that's set on the field. That's terrible. So, <laughs> also, um, I expect a lot of people are going to start using him online. <laughs> yeah, also, or with Joey, you get like an extra 5,000 life points from the start. Yeah, 1,000 life point boost, so you're 5,000 instead of four, which can be really, handy really at handy. times, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes the... The, the you know the Yu-Gi-Oh card system can jip you. 
You have nothing but magic, magic cards and traps. Oh man, that's especially brutal when you get to the point where you can duel this um, duelist called the Vagabond, which he just has like certain different stipulations before you start a duel. <clears throat> so if you yeah. get something like no special summons or he might start with a few set cards or your monster or like trap card zone is smaller, those are doable, but some of the more ridiculous ones are like when you start with a one-hand card and you make you go first and it's like a high-level monster and you can't do shit. Or um, he starts out with three fucking monsters and one time I dueled him, they gave him two fucking blue eyes to start with and it's like, oh, okay, so just tell me to fuck off and lose, thanks. <laughs> I know, it's 50-50. <laughs> sometimes it's like, it, it gives you something... And sometimes it can work to your advantage. It's just very luck-based sometimes. Mm -hmm, but whatever, regardless if you win or lose, he still gives you a lot more uh, experience in comparison to the regular uh, duelists out there. So even if you win or lose, it's still fine. Though another tip um, out there for those who have actually played the uh, regular card game online or whatever, uh, whatever you do, never surrender. Just let the duel play out because at least if you let it play out, you'll get some points like towards rewards and keys or whatever unlike if you just flat out surrender then the game gives you nothing which yeah so, so i don't even know why they have the surrender option to begin with anyway yeah that's so true. don't don't <laughs> surrender at all i know it looks bad and you might lose but just don't surrender i mean it's i'd rather get something than nothing you know what it is you did all that hard work you're or you're close to that next level but then you surrender and you, and you have enough points to go to the next level you have to wait to everything for fresh because mm -hmm. you waste everything, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. So, yeah, never surrender. <laughs> My quote, Maximilian, dude, never surrender. <laughs> never, yeah, never surrender. Fight the good oh, fight. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's just so addicting. I mean, he was playing, and I'm like, what are you doing? He's playing, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I, I, I quoted Stu <laughs> from Rugrats because I've lost all control of my life. <laughs> And, and yeah. those who get into it, you're probably going to feel the same way, too. It's really hard to drop, especially with Konami treating it so well the way they are. And I, and though they've done a lot, and I mean a lot of stupid and fuck you type of shit. This is one of the things they've treated white, and I've got to up. I've got to do one of the... Yeah, and exactly. Like you know, when a review. company fucks up, of course we have the right to criticize. Like, a, what Konami's doing with, you know, with Metal Gear... Or what Capcom is doing with you know Street Fighter or Resident Evil, or EA doing what there's you know stuff they did with Mass Effect, or but Activision just being active, or Activision <laughs> just being Activision. <laughs> but when they do right, you got to applaud them. Like Konami, like for example with Capcom with Resident Evil Seven, which I have a review, or which I finished the like the filming and gameplay of it. Hopefully, it'll come out soon. It's a fantastic game. It goes back to its roots and you know it it, 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 it you know goes back to what made it special. It's hard, so good on Capcom. Get on that, and plus they have a good season patch, plus free DLC too yeah. coming to the game. I think in the spring, so that we have more to look forward to for the people that bought the game. I think day one, so that's mm -hmm. so that's something good to look forward to. And um, same thing with you know EA they're releasing you know you know Mass Effect the drama which looks amazing, it looks good. Mm -hmm. I'll give EA this when it comes to their multiplayer stuff, they're not the best, but when it comes to their single player campaign games, they nail it. Dragon Quest Inquisition is an example of that. They were like. A ton of game of years last year when it released. Yeah. I played a little bit of it. I played a little bit of it. Sadly, I haven't played all of it. I need to go back and play because little I played was a lot of fun. So I need to go back and play that game because that game because Dragon Dragon Age is amazing. So yeah, um, so I, I give EA that. So kudos on EA. Look, and that's like a drama looks really amazing. So kudos on them and then kudos to Konami for giving Yu-Gi-Oh such the the royal treatment because I got a movie. You know what I'm saying and. And plus, they got cards from that movie, and that and this cool app, and and, and I think it's perfect timing because I I knew I I knew about it, but now since the movie came out, I guess now people are knowing, you know, want to know that there's something related to the, you know, and now and now the, the app is getting more attention, and it's now it's getting like so much so so much positive press in the game, and. So many people are on it. It's like it's crashing. Like at one point, mm -hmm. I couldn't even get on because I was still on somehow during that. Um, play, and I was the unfortunate but... bastard that get kicked off. And this funny thing was, like I mentioned before, in the movie, there's like a little like you know a, a, a chibi uh, blue eyes white dragon with a with a, uh, with a construction hat yeah. saying, you know, mm -hmm. server. He'll say like the servers are down. Please come back later. And he's, in, he's like in the movie too as well. Yeah, there's a brief like um, split moment. I know we. I know I said this a little tidbit on when we reviewed the Yu-Gi-Oh movie, but just to iterate again, just in case they might have forgotten it or whatever. 
Um, the place where Agami gets, like, beat up by the random bullies, this, uh, construction site by Kaiba Corp. In, like, the right-hand corner, you'll see the dragon. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I found that really amazing. So, kudos on Konami, man, for just giving it the world treatment. Plus, it's a card pack for the movie as well. It's mm-hmm. pretty cool. And that is Duel Links, which I'm pretty sure pretty soon they're going to start, you know, due to where, you know, the, the card packs that's out in real life, you can buy them in your, in your Duel Links game mm-hmm. to, to, to play. And I will also give Konami this. They know that their servers crash, like, multiple, multiple times. So they will, you know, they'll apologize in the news update and as sort of an apology they'll either like an event that they had that kept crashing like pegasus like so many people were on it they had to cancel it twice man yeah, so you <laughs> told me yeah and when i and when i started playing i got a, not only you know i got 500 gems not only that for the event coming back on but also extra 500 gems for it celebrating that it hit 2 million downloads and then another 500 that they came out with a new like oh, fire, set, fire, fire set, set yeah and they wanted you to purchase it. so they are very generous with handing you the gems you don't even need to put a dime on this game you get gems from leveling up the people there's gems from the pegasus event as you go along and get the rewards from him konami just hands them to you in fact i think when you log on you get 200 plus 500 plus like another like 777 and then not to mention the 500 as apologize for the servers the 500 for renewing Pegasus and then the other 500 for the set. So if you log on right now, you'll have a lot, a lot of gems to work to with work and with. buy different card packs and to try to make like you know your best deck possible. Yeah, you probably won't even have to worry about using the default deck. You can just like change everything. Which kind of sucks, by the way. I, I kind of like like my, my Cooper here tried to tell me, oh Joey's deck is garbage. Let me see how bad it is. So I fought a random like computer duels on the auto duel, which you get you get later on as a. You progress throughout the stages. Uh, he lost pathetically <laughs> because he had like one thousand and one attack, attack point monsters. I'm like, and jo- no magic support either. Like even though with this game, normally with a regular game, you want about fifty fifty magic and trap. But here, it's more you want seventy five monsters and twenty five percent like magic and traps this time around. So right. that's how you kind of have to balance it. Like kind of like fifteen to fourteen monsters, and then like. You know, six or so magic and traps, something like that. Yeah, that's ideal for this game mm-hmm. in particular. Also, like about it, if you want even more gems, it's kind of thing called the quiz thing. Yeah, you that's go also I, I forgot to mention that. Thank you. Yeah, you go down. You got like okay, win with this. They did they're like different ones. Okay, win by doing these specific requirements. You get like specific gems. Mm-hmm. And they well, updated a few of them. They added a few new ones with the set. So I'm pretty sure as time goes along, Konami will just keep adding a couple more. Of right. those little quiz things, you know, to get more gems. So I also, you get, like, uh, special, like, uh, card sleeves for your cards. So instead of the plain brown ones, you have to get, like, card sleeves like a Dark Magician or a matte sleeve. Like, for example, I have, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm-hmm. Or Yu-Gi-Oh! Or in this case, what do you have on yours? Uh, mine was Pegasus, but I have it as the embodiment of a Pulpus monster right now. But my sleeves are Pegasus. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can change that as well. Also, you know, switch different characters. To get you know to get more of their stat boost or gems, mm-hmm. so, you know, and and, and 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 some you get as you progress, but some you gotta like do specific things like that. Get like to get uh, Odeon, you get, what three hundred use three hundred traps and spells. Uh, in general, yeah, just in general three hundred total. And Shizu, I think, is summoned like a hundred or hundred fifty light monsters. I'm not hundred percent on that. I know uh, Bandit. Menko, Bandit Keef is like win against fifty legendary duelists in total. And then Mako was like tribute summon a hundred or so monsters like that. And Weevil and Rex are like, just as you progress, you just yeah they'll come it. along. In fact, he just got Weevil though. It seems like Weevil did have a stipulation. It was just like defeat fifty duelists in total. Yeah, just regular duelists, and that's how he was unlocked. Um, Rex, I'm not a hundred percent sure what his was, but I know it's I know Weevil and Rex are each to the point you don't have to worry about what the requirements are. They're, yeah. like, so small, but it's Mako, Keith, Ishizu, and Odeon. You kind of have to make sure that you're doing that. In fact, what I recommend, this is how I did it, um, just make one single deck with as much light monsters and as much traps as you can, because those are the two harder ones to get Ishizu and Odeon, and then just fight level 10 duelist and just grind that number up that way. That's how I did it. That's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Also, do you think they'll add more? Did Tristan ever play 
du- oh, was it Tristan ever a card player in the series or no? Uh, not really. They made him do one duel, but even then that was like a filler episode. Mm. So he never really played the card game, unfortunately. So I don't think he would be in. But then again, who knows? I mean, Teo really wasn't one, and she only really played one main duel and one filler duel, and yet here she is, so... Yeah, it's a possibility. I mean... But yeah, I'm hoping, you know, for more characters to, to, to be shown off. Um, but yes, but if you want, you can spend, you know, in-game money. I know Five's, like... What are the purchases? Do you remember, like, the purchasing ones? Um, I know... I know the max amount of, um, 10 packs plus, like, they give you an extra 300 gems as well on top of that is about 10 bucks. But if you go on there, there's, like... A special deal one where they give you ten packs and like plus a super rare for only like five bucks. So if you if you want to spend some just to kind of I guess show Konami support and help them get more servers because they desperately need oh it. Oh my god, it, it shows. I feel sorry for the especially people I know in it's gonna crash room. again once Bakura or Merrick show up. Oh damn, that's gonna be like the servers are, and you're and we crash, bam. And time to push it back and give apology gems again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just there, I bet they're getting those on standby already. Just <laughs> you know, I bad. I, I you know, it's funny when we when we try to do the Pegasus event, we we'll just imagine people in the Konami offices trying to get more server boxes, <laughs> desperately plugging them in to fix that extra one hundred people that's trying to get into the broom. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they got one so bad that they only like what maybe a thousand in, and like had a rotating system to where. If one gets out, then the next person. Yeah, like they that. had the stagger like they had the stagger um, online like in and you know they had the stagger out who could log in and you know it's like kind of pretty much a line. <laughs> yeah, I know it's crazy. It's good to see that Yu Gi Oh still you know relevant. You know it's really good to show relevancy. You know also um, I like the uh, fact that I know I mentioned this before the voices. Yeah, the original voice actors from Four Kids are mm-hmm. all. Voiced by the original people. Mm-hmm. That is that is so cool and, and, and such also, nostalgic a little fun touch thing to it. That I didn't know is that when the other person is dueling, if you tap the um, the duelist you're playing as, you can have them like say a little line to your opponent. Like I know with Yugi, when you tap him, you can say something like, "Hmm, what are you planning?" Or "This duel's not yet over. You haven't figured out my strategy yet, have you?" So you can say like little taunts back and forth to the opponent, which I didn't know until I just. When I was on, like, Ranked, actually, someone did it for me, and I was like, wait, how did you do that? And then I just kind of tapped around, then clicked on you, and it's like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's just pretty cool. Uh, it is a, also, if you're wondering, it's free yep. on, on, on Apple and Android. 100%. And uh, it's just really... It's just Globally, so, everywhere, anywhere, anybody can get it. It's so cool, and, like, it's... It's not censored in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Oh, my God. If you know what you talk about, look up Dorkly. This is a good channel. Five uh, censorship in video games. Oh my god, the censorship in Germany is insane. You thought Australia was bad? This is like wowzers. Australia, Jesus, man, you talk about being just sensitive and but I'm like so. If and, and, and just to go on that real quick, it's like they're all robots. <laughs> oh my god, it's like. <laughs> so what's the point of the rating system then? What's the point of having a rating system if? You know, it's like if that's a if that's a thing. Oh, they, they do the they do with robots. It's like I don't even know. It's like <laughs> it's just so. It's the dumbest thing ever. It's like what's the point of the rating system? It's like it was like okay, everyone's robots now. Now there's one game where like, oh my god, like Half Life got affected real bad. And there's one game where like all the people were swept out as robots. It's like so ridiculous. Oh my god, is this something to look at like, wow, it's so bad. And then also, I guess just to mention it, I won't I won't condone it and tell you how to get it, but if, say, though I'm pretty sure everybody like has like a mobile phone that can play it, well, except for me right now, and this is why I'm mentioning it, but if you don't have any device right now to play it with, and you don't, you know, you, you want to play it, but you don't have a device to play it with, there is an emulator out that you can go find, and at your own discretion, you can go get it. I'm not going to condone, even though it's free, it's not really technically piracy, but I don't want to get this channel in trouble, but just look for it. It's out there. 
I found it, and that's how I'm even showing this footage right now of me playing these few duels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Technically, you're not really stealing, per se, because it's it's free anyway. It's free, yeah. But we don't condone it. It's like, oh, we support them. We just, like, it's an option that's out there. We're just letting you know about it for people. Which, I'm not going to lie, phones are expensive. Luckily, I had, had a play. I have my phone. I have, like, a Samsung Galaxy S7. And luckily, I have that on a playmate plan because these things cost as much as a PS4 and Xbox One. Even more so, depending on like the if brand, it's a super yeah. new model. Yeah, so it's like, mm -hmm. don't feel bad if it's like if you can't, you know, get it. If you want to use it on phone, if you want to use it like on not phone, but if you want to use it on your laptop, you're more than welcome to. I don't so I don't support it or condone it, but like if you really want to get on the Yu-Gi-Oh! links and get that your itch on and, and see what all the fuss is about. There's the tools out there. Google's your friend. Exactly. <laughs> Google is your friend. It is out there. Okay, but uh, let me see. I'm trying to think what else. Also, this uh, – oh, the rotation decks real quick. Like, um, there's some rotation – there's some certain decks that rotate in and out for a mm. while. Like, for example, there's the fire deck, the water deck. And, like, the Ultimate Dragon deck? Yeah, there's two mini box sets, which is the fire and water ones, which those have a better chance of you getting the cards you want since there's a smaller amount in them. So I would recommend to kind of go for those first. And then there's the two, like, big bot set, which is the Ultimate Rising, which is uh, Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon's the cover guy on that. And then I think it was something Chaos. I, I forget the second one. I know it has... Uh, Red Eyes, Black Meteor Dragon on the front of that. But those are the two main sets, but they were going to be rotated out on February, but they moved it to the end of March, so I guess more people could come in and get the main cards from it before they rotate it out. But the Blue Eyes one and the Water one are going to be rotated out on March. So that's just a fair warning. Um, you have plenty of time to get them, but um, if you do have gems and you want to focus on those two, those would kind of be the two to focus on right now since they're going to be rotated out but i'm pretty sure at one point they'll be back in or whatever but it's just that's just a fair one yeah so that. if you have gems go for the one i know that one that that's tempting that could because it was one pack you're guaranteed good cards but get the ones that rotate because you're a good chance you might get a super or ultra rare mm -hmm. from them so i reckon and plus like you could put said that decks are smaller go for those first because like i said they're not always going to be around because the one I mentioned will be around always, but the other ones aren't. I know it's kind of like a risk factor thing going on, but like you should you should totally take the risk because if you, if you, it's a good chance, like I said, you might get a better card and and, and um to your deck, you know, for your for your, for your you know for deck for different decks. That way, stuff. it's easier to you know get more gems from the duelist because that's kind of one of the also uh, things we should mention and go back on. Uh, at the beginning of this game, the AI is brick stupid. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It, like it, it is insultingly like, bad. Like even Jeffy would be like, "Why are you doing this? I'm not even that dumb." <laughs> oh my god! It was like I remember Coop was laughing his ass off because it's like it's so bad. Just how he even reacted to it? He just face palm for a good like five minutes at what was going on. I'm like, I had like a dark magician out, and they're like bringing out an attack mode. Five to six hundred attack point monsters. You know, like, garbage cards you'd never even want to use. I'm like, <laughs> okay, does this monster have a special effect if I kill it, uh, my Dark Magician dies? No, it's a crappy monster with crappy attack points. Oh, that didn't work. Might as well use the same monster again in attack mode. It should work this time. And, <laughs> like, it, you know, it's like, it's so dumb. I'm like, it's like they don't learn. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> But fear not if you guys are wanting challenge, because at this point of me playing the game, I'm, I'm on about stage 38 and 39, and the AI does step up their game and their strategies as you go along. So they won't always be this brick stupid. It's just, you know, there's going to be like kids that have never played this game in their life. That's the thing. That, that's <laughs> why it's not really for me. It's for people like that. Because it's people, you know, you know, people have over like 2 million people downloaded so far. But. There are, there will be those people that have never played the game before, which which I understand. Same thing with Pokemon. Same thing with, same thing with, kind of with Pokemon. Even though, like when Sun, when the, the new Sun, was it Sun and Moon came yep, out. Simon. Even though it's kind of like rolling my eyes at the whole introduction, but I kind of remember not yeah. everyone's played Pokemon. Yeah. So they want to introduce the world and how things work, so that way they can get just and inadequate, and it's kind of good in a way. And even though I'm like. It's kind of slow, I'm like ugh. But at the same time, like, well, at least it brings new people in, so the community can grow, can grow. Mm -hmm. And same thing here with Yu-Gi-Oh. I know the, the like we mentioned before, the AI is D3. <laughs> but, 
<laughs> but it's to bring the new people in so they can feel more comfortable. Oh my god, I can actually win this. And then of course, as they learn and, and how to put better decks together and get better cards, they'll move beyond that and become best, become maybe a big pro in, in that scene. So it's it's annoying. I know you got bared through it in the beginning, but excuse me, but it's one of those just things that it's the time for the people who've never played to get accustomed with monsters, read on effects, read spells, read a trap, see what's good, see what's not, get all the gems they can get, go get more packs from the store. It's time for them to, like, grow and work. Right, so it's, like, very casual friendly, which is a good thing. I know there's people, that, there's people out there that think, you know, casuals ruin stuff, where actually casuals is a big market and actually, well, I know... It's something oh, you no, want to get fire into. Emblem. We're gonna get we're gonna get him triggered and we're gonna be here an extra twenty minutes. I know, right? Seriously, <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm over it. I already said my beast on that. If you want to know, what I'm talking about go go to my top ten games of 2016. Yeah, I, I get more in depth into that. Also, or my my thoughts on my fire Emblem direct videos. Yeah, if you want if you want more, if you want to know what I'm talking about, what you talking about, click on those videos and you'll you'll get more in depth on that. But and not just fire emblem. I, I, the, a good example of a game that needs to do that is uh, Monster Hunter. Yeah. Because Monster Hunter, I mean, it looks interesting. It looks good. But unfortunately, a casual like me, it's hard. And it's good for the hardcore group. And Lucky's a big enough community for them to, 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 to still thrive. But it's yeah. just more for, like, hardcore people, not really for casuals, sadly. Yeah, it is very hard to hop into Monster Hunter, I will admit. I, I wish that Monster Hunter did Because like, even I kind of tried, and I was kind of turned away from it after... Playing a little bit. Me too, and I tried. It's like it was like, eh. I mean, I just wish that it came out with, you know, I wish it came out with a casual mode for like Monster Hunter, which I know people are like, oh, blasphemy, but you know, just to bring new people in, get mm -hmm. them adjusted, and eventually they want to turn the difficulty up to how it's supposed to be played. Mm -hmm. Let them gradually get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because they kind of give them an incentive too. I I know how Monster Hunter works. You're supposed to kill. Like a certain big boss monster, and they give you like kind of drops to make better weapons to kill more monsters. Well, for the casual mode, um, how about you make the rates a little bit less in terms of getting like the really good materials to make the really good weapons, and then when they bump it up the casual, it's a better rate that way. You know, they have incentive to learn on the casual mode, and then when they've gotten comfortable and they can go up, then they can go up and. And that way can also be fair because I know people would bitch. It's like, how come we they can get the same thing on an easier mode? Blah 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 blah. blah. And that's just my suggestion for that. That's my right. I know this is a suggestion. Of course, Capcom can figure it out how they how they can go about something like that. But this is our opinion. But you know, because the casual market is a big market, especially if you do it right. If you market it and do it right, it it can it, you know it can open up the doors to. Being more mainstream now, Fire Emblem is mainstream. Now they have Echoes coming, which is a remake of an old like NES like Fire Emblem game. We got a Heroes game coming out, a new Fire Emblem game coming out for the Switch in next year. So there's like all these and games and more Amiibos right now. <laughs> support for as well. So it's like it's insane. Plus you know, plus if you want some, you know, plus you know, there's games like Awakening, Birthright, and Conquest for casual people. So it's like. And it brought in so many people. Not in, like it's the best-selling games of the franchise. It's so, like in the millions, and now now like there's more coming out, which is a good thing. Yeah, it just opens the door, gets the makers of the franchises more money. That way, they can produce more content. More content. And at the end of the day, that's all we want: more stuff. Because at the end of the day, everyone wins, yeah. and no one loses. All right, guys. Uh, I, I will well, be... have the PC Master Race, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> But alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Like I said, it's free to download. Go get it now if you're a hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Or if you're a casual, if you're curious about Yu-Gi-Oh. In fact, if you're playing, leave in the comments your like little friend code thing or whatever. I haven't dabbled with it, but I know there's like a friend list or whatever. Maybe we could do some casual duels on it sometime. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. We're open for it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hope we see you guys again real soon. Peace out, guys. Ooh!